pregnant. 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 Carrie, you cannot carry on like this. It's not fair. Not to us and especially not to yourself. I don't know if you've noticed, but life isn't fair. Never is and never was. Never was? Oh, come on. You have to stop with the self-pity. It's been going on for weeks now. You can't change what's happened, Carrie. Well, I don't think I can just get over something this big. You have to, for Alex. And even though what Alex did was wrong, you have to learn to move on. And if I don't want to, why am I the one who has to forgive and forget? What about how I feel? You said it yourself. Life is unfair. We've all been friends for so long now. Please don't throw it away because of one stupid mistake. So how was the big anniversary? 11 months going strong? Oh, it was really great. Carl is such a romantic. He took me to this restaurant and he paid for the whole night and he bought me this necklace and Aww. everything was really great. I really do love him. Isn't that Carl over there in that mob of girls? Those are Carl's friends. Jealousy makes you nasty. He'd never hurt me like that. You have to be in love, Alex, my dear bestie. Then you'll understand. So, I heard about your little date. Romantic. Oh yeah, that. It was alright. I'd much rather be with you. Hey, cut it out. There's something I really need to tell you. Later. First. <gasps> Carrie, what the hell is going on here? Alex, you're my best friend. How could you? Look, Carrie, I'm sorry. Don't touch me. Just get your stupid cheating face away from me. Carrie, I no. just... You just leave me alone, okay? I cannot believe that you would actually go behind my back and carry what? I'm pregnant. Now I have this huge decision to make. I can't hide from life any longer. It doesn't just wait while I take a breather. New lives are made while some are destroyed and still life just keeps going. I guess it's time to grow up. My best friend is pregnant by my boyfriend. Well, Ex-boyfriend, I guess. And I'm expected to support her. Because that's what friends do, right? The thing is, I'm not so sure I want to be friends anymore. No, you don't deserve me anyway. You're nothing but a jock and a jerk. I don't know what I ever saw in you. In someone that could do what you did to me and Alex. I cannot believe that you're just leaving her to do this all by herself. Ach, please, Gary, you want to talk. It's not like you've been there every step of the way. <laughs> yeah, well, congrats, Carl. You nearly succeed in breaking up a 10-year friendship. Nearly. Have a nice life. Or don't. Whatever. Yeah, nee, ik see my bro. I have almost, man. Alex, listen. Look, uh, Carrie. I know I've said it like a million times, but I really am sorry. I know. I know you are. I'm just gonna need some time to adjust to all of this. I'm so hurt and angry and disappointed, but I still love you. I always have and I always will. And I don't know how not to be your best friend. Morning school. As teenagers, we are in this sort of in-between state. For some, the state is scary and confusing. Everything changes. We get moody, we get opinions, but mostly we get lost. And sometimes all we need to get back on track again is someone to listen. We need true good friends, but unfortunately, not everybody has those. So I've decided to start a new society, the friend group. 
Our one and only aim is to listen, because everyone deserves to be heard. Everyone deserves to be cared about. Everyone deserves a true friend. Sometimes life requires us to put things like pride aside and realize the true value of friendship, to take that leap from being who we are to who we need to be. The leap is not an easy one, but the landing is worth it. This is my imperfect world, but every imperfection makes me who I am, makes me somebody's best friend, no matter what.